By giving in charity, you are lowering the degree, but yet the haram act is done. If you ask me the question, I did not know till today Rabbi is haram. And hey yo, what's up everybody? Welcome back to our channel. It's your boy Jesse Keegan and we are Funny and Jesse. So today we're gonna do another reaction video. And before we get into the reaction, guys, I wanna thank everybody who's been subscribing to our channel. You guys are really amazing. Thank you so much and uh, thank you for the people who've been watching our videos also you guys are amazing positive feedback and whatnot also i hope everybody's doing fine i hope people are taking care of yourself you're raising your vibration you're praying to allah you're praying to god for a better future because we are in a very very crazy times as we speak and i hope everything's going to be better as we progress anyway so today we're gonna look into another reaction and this one right here was suggested by a couple of people and they suggested that we should react to can the interest money which is around be given in charity yeah so and this is by dr zaki Naik. so let's just look at it let's let's see is it is it a ram because i heard that um muslims are not supposed to get interest or whatever i mean it's not it's like it's somewhat somehow a ram or something so let's just see what what dr sorry what um um dr zaki naik is going to talk about anyway without any further ado let's get it the third question is from saiful hussein anoy i am rubel from bangladesh my question is I have a savings account which provides me interest and I want to give it to the poor people. Is it possible? A similar question is posed by Farnas Fatima. Can we give interest money in charity? A similar question from Hassa Abu Bakr. Sir, I have a bank account which has interest. Could I remove the interest amount without taking it from the account but giving from other source? what can i do with this interest from the question posed by these three questioners it is clear that they realize that interest in riba is haram and allah mentions the word riba in the quran no less than eight times and allah clearly mentions in surah bakhra chapter number two verse number 278 and 279 that if you give up not your demands for riba for interest then take notice of a war from allah and his rasul Riba is a major sin in Islam and according to Imam Adhabi, he places Riba interest as 12th major sin in Islam. Our beloved Prophet Muhammad said, it's mentioned in Mustadar al-Hakim, Hadith number 2259, our beloved Prophet Muhammad said, there are 73 levels or 73 types of Riba and the lowest level is equivalent to doing zina with your mother. It's a sahih hadith. The lowest level of riba is like doing zina with your mother. That's what a beloved prophet said. And Allah says that if you give up not your demands of riba, of interest, take notice of a war from Allah and his Rasul. There is hardly any sin you can find in the Quran or the hadith in which Allah says, Allah will wage a war against you if you indulge in that sin. Imagine. It is such a grievous, heinous sin, riba. Regarding the question posed by all three questioners that what to do with the interest money? Can we give in charity? Can I take out from the bank and give in charity? Can I keep the money in the bank and give from outside equivalent amount in charity? As far as taking interest money and giving in charity, if you have to take the interest money and give in charity, before giving you have to take. So <laughs> taking riba is haram. So even if you take riba and give in charity, even that is haram. The moment you take interest, you are waging a war against Allah and the Rasul. So there is no question of taking. Even taking the riba and giving in charity is haram. You have already done the act. By giving in charity, you are lowering the degree, but yet the haram act is done. If you ask me the question, I did not know till today riba is haram. And I already have interest. What to do? That's a separate question. 
But if someone says, I'll keep the money in the bank and I'll give the interest to the poor people, I would ask counter question. And I've asked this question to many. I know there are some scholars who say that no problem, keep it in the bank, take the money and give it in charity, it's permitted. I disagree with these scholars totally. I would like to ask them that if I ask you that can I deal in drugs, in cocaine, brown sugar, or can I open alcohol factory and I invest $1 million and full 100% profit, I get more than a million dollar a year. I give that full seven and a half crore Indian rupees in charity. Is it permissible? 100% will say no. I said, why? It's haram. If that is haram, having alcohol or dealing in alcohol or in drugs, it is the 19th major sin in the book of Imam al Dabi Khabar, major sin. And riba is 12th major sin. So when you can give me permission for 12th, the higher sin, mind you giving me permission for the lower sin? And imagine, when you deal in alcohol, though it's a major sin, Allah and His Rasul doesn't wage a war against you. But when you're dealing in riba, whether giving or taking, Allah and His Rasul is waging a war against you. When you're giving me permission to take the profit of interest money and give in charity and no problem, you should also give me permission to have an alcohol company. 100% I give in charity. Let me deal in drugs, cocaine, brown sugar. No scholar will give you permission to deal in cocaine and say 100% you can give in charity. Because it's haram. Same thing in riba. When you're dealing in riba, it is spoiling the society. I've given a full talk on interest-free economy promulgated by the glorious Quran. It makes a poor man more poor. And Allah and His Rasul made the war. So according to me, taking interest and giving in charity is also haram. There may be a situation that today you have come to know it is haram. And you already have interest money, what to do? That I can answer. But if you say I'll keep on continuing keeping in the bank and take the interest and give in charity, that is totally haram. Allah and His Rasul will wage a war against you. It is totally prohibited. If you did not know till now, and today you have come to know, then what can you do with the money? That can be answered. And many scholars have given an option. For example, Sheikh bin Baza said that this money you can give in paying debts of the other people. But naturally, all the scholars say that the interest money you cannot utilize for yourself. Though you cannot take interest, but if it's the last resort, it has come due to unwillingness. For example, there is pension. In the pension, without your permission, they keep it in some interest-based investment. It's coming without your willingness. That's a different question. Or you have someone in your job or your company. It comes indirectly in which you have no control, but you cannot yourself open a saving account or a fixed deposit and then give the money charity. No, that's not permitted. If you did and you say, I will never do it again, then I can tell you what can you do with the money. Number one, you can give it to the debtors, those who are in debt. Number two, you can use it for building toilets or bathrooms. Number three, you can give it in charity to the poor people, but you can't give it in charity to your dependents. You can't give it to your son or your daughter, they are your dependents. You can't give it to your mother and father, they are dependents. In short, you cannot give it to those people who you will inherit from. In short. And neither can you give it to those people which is your duty to take care of them. You cannot give it to someone who you are supposed to take care of. You can give it to a third party who is not under your care. But as far as debt is concerned, according to Sheikh Ibn Taymiyyah, you can even give to those people who are under your care, whether it be your son, whether it be your father, because debt is not your liability. You are liability to take care of the day to day living. So if your father or if your son or if your daughter is in debt, you can use your zakat money for them also. Normal zakat you can't use for a dependent, but for debt you can. Similarly, this money what you have, which unwillingly came to you, you can use this interest money for paying the debt even of your dependent or anyone else. You can use it for poor people who are not your dependents. You can use it for charity or for building toilets. But see to it that you do not continue indulging in the riba. Because Allah is very clear cut that if you want to repent, there are minimum five things that you should do. Number one, agree it is wrong. So now you have agreed that riba is wrong. Okay. Number two, stop it immediately. That means you have to change your account. You can't say continue. 
You have to stop that account. Put in a current account. If you think it is a requirement to have a bank account, okay, have a current account. I lived in India. We live in non-Muslim countries. And you can have a current account. Current account doesn't involve riba at all. See to it that you open an account in which there is no riba. Some accounts have riba. Open a current account which is absolutely free of riba. Because when you open a savings account, you are signing. You are giving them permission to use your money and give you riba. If you open a fixed deposit, then you are giving them permission to use your money and they are giving you riba out of That's totally haram. So if you have an account which is fixed deposit or if you have a savings account, convert it to a riba free current account. Then what money you have, you can give it in the way that I have told you. Regarding if you have money in the bank and you have outside money, yes, you can swap it, no problem, but see to it, but you cannot continue with that account, even that's wrong. What do you have to do? You have to come out of that account and open a current account. If you feel that keeping money in your house is difficult, it is not safe, you can keep in the bank or you may have to involve in making transaction by check, which may be a legal requirement, open a current account which is absolutely free from it. But best is to open an Islamic bank and current account. Next best is if there is no Islamic bank in your country or in the area where you are living. Second best is you can open a conventional bank but see to it it is a current account free from riba. What riba you had because of your ignorance that you can give in charity to the poor people, it is permissible. That's a good uh, explanation right there. So all along I wasn't wrong because um, I was right and I, I, I had this like long time ago when I was I think in high school or something or primary level that Muslims don't uh, take interest or something and I was shocked I was like how, how is it that you don't take interest so it doesn't mean that the money that is in your bank account if it accumulate if it accumulate interest you don't take it you don't I mean it I used to think about it like ah, this is so like this is just acting weird but I don't know since in the Quran it's uh, it's just written in there that it's, it's, it's a ram so I think they have to they have to adhere to that and uh, which is a good thing I mean it's it's good that's why I like the, the Muslims they're so religious but I think not all of them do that I mean there are few people who just do that but not entirely the Muslim community let's just be honest guys but if they do that if for the ones that are doing it that's that's pretty amazing that's that's really amazing i mean if you can be able to control your level of how not to take that interest and you know that this is money that can elevate my happiness and uh, do a few things then you, you you should be something someone who is really uh, uh principled get it which is not a bad thing it's really really good Anyway, uh, Dr. Zaki Naik has made it so simple and he has made it look so easy for us to actually to decipher or whatnot. And this is really amazing. I mean, uh, there are people out there who are watching who don't, who don't even know if Muslims don't take interest. And this is a better opportunity for you to learn and actually get one or two things. And I... Um, I appreciate the people who have been telling us to react on this video right there. You guys are really amazing. Thank you so much. And if you feel like I reacted to this video in a better way, just give me a thumbs up. And don't forget to go down my comment section and tell me exactly what you feel about my reaction and what you feel about this video over here. Just let me know in the comment section below. What do you think? Do you think that even at, at a time like this when we are faced with a lot of calamities and whatnot, uh, we still not supposed to take interest you are you going to not take interest or are you going to take it just let me know in the comment section below what, what will you do for yourself and the most important thing guys don't forget to subscribe to our channel then we keep on subscribing then we give us the motivation to do a lot of videos and to give you a better better content and last but not the least i'm gonna see you rather we're gonna see you in the next video and peace out